Hi, I'm Christopher from Terra Nova Tutoring, and today we're going to be tackling one of the SAT's harder algebra questions. First step is to distribute this r to x minus 8. We want the left side to parallel the right hand side, where rx is some constant times a variable x, and minus 8r is just another constant because r itself is a constant. And it's just easier to identify that in this form. And on the left hand side, we want to recognize that 12, 28, and 4 all have the greatest common factor of 4. So we can simplify that expression to 3x plus 7 minus s over 13. Our next step is to recognize that s over 13 is itself just another constant because in the problem it states that s and r are constants. So what we can do is put this in parentheses, indicating that it's just one constant, and then factor out a negative 1. So all that does is changes this plus sign to a minus sign and flips the sign of all terms inside. So we have s over 13 minus 7. We flip the order. And this is still equal to rx minus 8r. And now we finally have something of the form rx minus 8r. It may not be obvious, but 8r is just some number. s over 13 minus 7 is just some number. And then we have 3x and rx and this minus sign in the middle. So they do parallel one another. So what we're saying, since 3x is the only term that has x as a variable, that this coefficient 3 is r. So r is equal to 3. And s over 13 minus 7 is equal to 8r, which we established to be r to be 3. From there, it becomes simple algebra. s over 13 minus 7 is therefore equal to 24. According to the rules of algebra, we're going to add 7 to both sides. s over 13 is equal to 31. And then we'll multiply by 13 on both sides, and we get that s is just equal to 403. Thank you for watching.